But be careful with your eyes. Make sure you don't touch anything. <laughs> Drink oh. milk. <laughs> I think my eyes are swelling up. <laughs> you think your eyes are swelling? I'm serious. I think my. I think my. They're swelling. <laughs> Welcome to Spicy Wings. My name is Sean, I mean, my name is Justin Lovett, and we're here on Spicy Wings. This is where we have spicy wings and ask spicy questions. So today we have David Lovett. He is a humanitarian worker who's worked with NGOs, nonprofits all over the world for the last 35 years. So yeah. those countries being Pakistan, India, Tajikistan, Iran, Iran Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Is that it? That's pretty good okay. to start. <laughs> yeah. nice. We have these 10 spicy wings. Mm. Um, we're gonna try and go through them one at a time. I'll ask you some few questions as we go ahead. Let's do this. Okay. And you don't have to eat the whole wing. If you don't want to, you just take a bite. You don't have to eat the whole thing because you're probably gonna get full because there's 10 wings so long. I'm so, hungry too, okay. so I'm ready for this. All right. Yes. You ready? Yes. All right. We have the first wing. Okay. You start on uh, so least spicy to most spicy. Mm. So let's go with the. I've had a lot of spicy food in my time, my part of the world, so I'm looking forward to this. You ready? Here we go. Mm. Pretty good. Mm. Good. Um, okay. So often people only see you where you're at in the moment. And I think it's very easy to people look at someone and just think like, wow, you're successful. Then they just assume it happened. <clears throat> but mm -hmm. we all know that that doesn't happen overnight. Mm -hmm. and there's lots of moments where you have probably difficult things that have happened to mm -hmm. help you build character. Yeah. Was there a moment in your past you can remember that? What moment can I remember in the past that was building character? Uniquely difficult and helped you build character. <clears throat> I can think of one of the first times I went overseas and I worked in India and I was with a whole team of of all Indians. I was the only foreigner there. And so I hit my first big culture shock of trying to bring in all my values, my ways of operating, and it just hit right up against Indian culture, worldview. And uh, here I am just beating my head against the wall trying to get them to change to be how I wanted. And India is not gonna change for me. So, yeah. so I really had to learn a little bit more humility, learn how to be a learner, how to change, how to, and to appreciate the values I was learning from these guys. People are really important, events are important, take time for drinking tea, which I thought was a waste of time. Yeah. So that helped me develop, beginning to learn to change, to be more flexible and adaptable. All right, ready for the next one? Yep. Okay, so this, this one is, is- That one right there. So Diablo sauce. Yeah, this is a unique one actually. I found a pick and save it's Did from you? Taco Bell. Okay. Do you have any pet peeves when you're working with different, bigger kind of organizations like, I don't know, UN, USAID, or mm. maybe State of Children, or? A little bit more spicy, but not too much. That's still <laughs> pretty good. Okay. <laughs> what pet peeves? Um, I, my pet peeves would be that sometimes it feels like the world of NGOs is big business, and just it becomes a machine. You keep it all going just to do it. Yeah. So that in the end, the people you're really trying to serve become really, really secondary. And it's more about how much money you're, I'm going to get paid. And so I, I think that people in the kind of work that we're doing, that people, we would keep a genuine, real concern and value of people. And that, yeah, you need money, but it shouldn't be what's driving us and controlling us. And so, so what is our motivation? Yeah. And maybe it seems idealistic, but I still think we really are looking for people who have genuine compassion, genuine concern. Yeah. Not just about their egos and power and money. Yeah. Great. Yeah. That's good. All right. Next swing. As you eat the swing, think of another humanitarian worker, or someone, someone that you've looked up to. Okay. Someone who's inspiring to you. Mmm. <laughs> you have to eat the whole thing. I'm hungrier than you. Okay. That Someone I've looked up to, there was a guy I worked with in Tajikistan. He was a former communist party, head of the communist party in Tajikistan in the old Soviet days. 
And he had started the only sort of quasi-NGO organization I could find inside the country when I was looking for a partner to start. His name was Mohammed Asimi. He was a scholar, academic, and um, had genuine concern for his country. And uh, just was one of these unique guys who just could, had a bigger vision, big understanding, was wi willing to embrace us when nobody else even had ever heard of an NGO. So Mr. Mr. Asimi was a broad enough, big enough thinker that he embraced us and really just helped us in a tremendous way to, to launch our NGO in Tajikistan that we eventually had 150 staff working in seven cities, doing all kinds of creative projects and bringing an email internet into the whole country for seven years, for example. It was just an out of box way of thinking that he was able to embrace. So. I always, I always kind of looked up to, appreciated him. Awesome. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Awesome. I mean, he was assassinated at one point, right? Unfortunately, yeah. He was after about four years after we partnered together and started working together. Yeah, he was one of these survivors of the old Soviet Union and the Civil War in Tajikistan. And so he had friends on both camps, but that many, he had enemies on both sides as well. And unfortunately, yeah, he was assassinated. We don't know who did it. And uh, uh, in fact, there was a documentary just produced on PBS that that was uh, about his life. And yeah. All right. I'm going to the next wing here. OK. And this, this is just, again, a, not that spicy one. <laughs> Some tri kind of tripacha sriracha hot, sriracha, yeah. hot sauce. OK. So Good. besides working in a humanitarian, we also know that you love gardening. Mm. We used to have a great garden in your backyard. Mm -hmm. What's something that you're drawn to about gardening that is special to you? What do you like about it? What's, what is it you like about it? Why do you do it? I think that that's a little spicier. Is it? Yeah, for me. But, um... <laughs> oh, just wait. <laughs> this one is going to knock you on your butt. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm going to read these. Um, gardening. I, I don't know. I've always liked seeing things grow. I like to see, be a part of seeing something created, I guess, and something coming out of nothing. And then just watching it grow and helping to be a part of that. And then it's fun to pick what you grow. So it's a lot of fun to go out in the garden and pick a right fresh tomato. Probably nothing else better. It's a lot of fun to take the produce and give it away, share it, enjoy it. And That's great. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Answer a little vague, but that's okay. You didn't get the questions beforehand. All right. Next wing. Ready? Okay. This is Tabasco sauce. Yeah. Which I've had. Mm hmm. Well, this is a special Tabasco sauce. Is it? Habanero sauce. Mm. I don't know if it's more spicy. We actually tried to test these five that we bought at the store beforehand. Mm. Just to see which ones were spicier. I don't know if we got right. So, actually, that's not, also not super spicy, but no. Can yeah, I one? Can, don't touch your eyes or anything like that. Yeah. Especially <laughs> later. So this section is called uh, "Explain That Gram." Explain. So we go through some of the photos on your Instagram, uh -huh. and you can tell us the bigger story behind it. Laptop, please. Just kidding. I'm not Sean Evans here, so I have to get my own laptop. <laughs> you want to show my Instagram pictures? Just a few of them. Okay. So I'm just going to show you the picture, and then you explain a little bit more behind that picture. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay, that picture is of us in northern Iran, and <laughs> a little hot. And <laughs> we're inside a cave where people had dug holes under the ground about three or four thousand years ago to escape marauding. Uh, conquerors coming through, like everyone yeah. from Tamerlane, Genghis Khan. Next photo, <laughs> what's this? Uh, so this is you can tell my, quicker too. my wife and I in Tbilisi, Georgia, yeah. wearing traditional um, Georgian hats that are from that part of the world, all made out of sheep wool. So Very we were cool. just having fun. That was fishing this last May, and I went out to a local stream here and caught this gigantic trout out of a tiny little stream, just deep water, and so it was just showing it off. 
Um, that was being able to visit with you guys in Nairobi, I think it was, and seeing a giraffe arm, and I was feeding the giraffe with my lips, and it was eating it. Um, and this was, I guess, okay, that was at a costume party in Tehran, Iran, and I was dressing up as a karate guy, and the other guy who was doing karate, we were facing off like we're gonna fight. The last one. And this was, I guess, when the Volvo broke down and you and I were towing it some way, <laughs> somewhere. It was back in 2013 or something like that. Something like that. Well, thanks for that little session was there. Was that in the, maybe that was near Arizona and the Arizona, Grand Arizona. Canyon. All right, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Next swing here. Okay, now this is the spicy garlic sauce. Here we go. Yeah, spicy garlic sauce. This All one. Right. You should cut. Oh man, next wing is the, the bomb. Isn't it? You should cut. <laughs> I think I'm more scared than you. <laughs> so, you grew up, born in 1955. Mm -hmm. Grew up a kid in the suburbs? Outside New York City. Outside New York City? 15 miles outside. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, right outside New York City. Yeah. I remember you telling me stories about playing on the streets, riding your bike down the streets, playing games. And it seems like today that kind of culture has left America. You don't really see kids hanging out on the streets as much now. Mm. What do you think about that? Is that something you miss? Is that something you would wish? Is that, is that you look fondly on that? Or? Generally, I have great memories of that. I mean, our neighborhood had a lot of kids. There was, you could just go out and hang out. You could go out and explore and um, find kids just to play games with or we were create, being a lot of creative things, like we'd have fairs in our backyards and the whole neighborhood would come in and it was a way to make money, but a lot of fun. <laughs> we'd go out at night and play games, you know, whether it was, used to call it kick the can or flashlight tag or something where you just scared each other. Um, exploring as a kid, going out into our neighbor's backyards, like as a kid, that's really exciting. You know, yeah. you're, you're going around exploring, looking at things and... All right. Next okay. wing. This, this is, is it. The this bomb. Is it. This is it. One of the spicier ones. Oh, it looks a little dark. Oh, it's boy. kind of a dark this, color. I would just take one bite. Just it's take a dark one bite. Just it's take a dark one. color. <laughs> I'm just taking one bite myself. Seriously? Yeah. Don't take one. Okay. Next question. You fish, right? Why are you eating so much? <laughs> You like fishing. You mm. like trout, trout stream, stream fishing. <laughs> you like lake fishing, deep lake fishing. If you could list them in order, from best, like what you like the most to what you like the least, and why. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> the question was. <coughs> so, you like fishing, right? I like fishing. Trout stream, stream, stream fishing, small stream. Yes. Lake fishing like medium lakes yeah. and then deep lake fishing. Yeah. Which one do you like? Streams. Why? Because they're <laughs> easy. <laughs> they're easy. And they are spicy. That was, that was a different level. Okay. Great. Streams. Uh, if you... <sighs> it's easy. It's easy. To, <laughs> it's easy to catch them. Go up to the stream, catch them real quick and get out. Okay. Uh, You've lived in Tajikistan, Pakistan, India. <sighs> Bangladesh. Which ones are your favorite foods from top to bottom? I like Osh. Should we drink Tajik Osh. Okay, Tajik Osh. Tajik Osh. And then <laughs> India, I like Dal Fry. Okay. And then Afghanistan, Kabuli Palau. And kebabs, yeah. they're awesome. My and, eyes are watering. Remember, don't yeah. touch your eyes. If you touch your eyes, use a new one. All right, how does Sean Evans do this? Okay, okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Next week. Next week. We're gonna go another one. Yeah. Okay. We don't have to eat it all. The chicken wing is kind of cool. I kind of cooled it down a little bit. Um, <laughs> uh, 
I don't know why, but I'm uh, Should we take some milk? <laughs> Remember, uh, uh, be careful with your eyes. <laughs> Okay, why? Why do you help people? <laughs> why even do that? Let's have some milk. Uh, you want to try it? Okay. Oh, that helped. That's better. <laughs> Definitely better. I can think a little bit. Okay, last uh, 35 years. Okay. You've been traveling. I have. Been helping, doing NGO work. Okay, that is where. Why? It comes with. A deep conviction that this is what God wants me to do in my life. And <clears throat> because I'm committed to following the teachings of Jesus. There are so many there about loving, you know, everybody knows, love your neighbor as yourself. And the story of the good Samaritan on the side of the road, person lying on the side of the road, and that this guy, you know, this religious people walk by and ignore and don't help and then and also i think that people matter we should care about people and be reaching out and concerned and involved in people's lives and making a difference and especially where there is suffering and injustice i feel to we should be doing it Evans, do this don't touch my eyes i'm trying to remember these things are dangerous they're here we just gotta do the last ones because even just a tiny bit on that paper. Are we going to the next one? No. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. You look classic movies. And we're gone. Rank, wow. It's a Wonderful Life, The Music Man, A Christmas Carol, Russians Are Coming, Blazing Saddles, yeah. Rustler's Rhapsody, Robin Hood, Men in Tights. Which is your favorite? <laughs> Christmas Carol is my favorite. Yeah. I watch that every year. But then after that, I like... Uh, music Man, it's a great music, great story, love story. I love Russians coming because it's just great satire. And, um, Russell's Rhapsody is a great satire as well. That's funny. Um, and, wow. that's great. All right, Why do I feel better now? Maybe my body is just going into shock. Okay. <laughs> Last swing. Uh, this is supposedly one million Scoville. Oh, seriously, this yeah. is it? This is the last one. This is the last one. Okay. Okay, let's go. You ready? You cheers okay, it. cheers. Um, uh, you made it through the 10 wings. I made it through the 10 wings. It was insanely uh, uh, spicy. Uh, uh, Scoville units going through my blood, through your blood. Tell us what's next for you. What do you have coming up next? What's on the next of your list in life? This camera, that camera, this camera. Tell it to the people. <laughs> I am going to continue to be involved in making a difference in lives of people in Bangladesh, Pakistan, India, Iran. Afghanistan through the work and service we're doing to see people's lives change, to see uh, transformation in very positive ways and things that really will help make a difference in people's lives and improve the quality of their lives and we're going to be doing that. I don't have any plans to retire and as long as I can I'll be serving working in those areas and um, great. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Wow, you didn't even okay. touch your milk. That's amazing. Okay, that's it. We're done. Uh, <laughs> you can <laughs> share my milk. <laughs> Actually, I think I hit a certain level, and after that, <laughs> it just can't get any worse. <laughs> so, uh, I'm sweating, and my eyes are watering. My throat is burning, and it's so spicy, huh? I can't breathe. I'm glad. I it's feel like it's hard to breathe, isn't it? It is. I'm. I'm just. I feel like 
is really uh, you for milk? very successful. Please, quick, quick, quick. Run, 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 run. Now I feel it more. Whew. My throat is burning. Probably shouldn't make salmon on these anymore. Uh, wow. Uh, is this what your wooden chip challenge will be? Yeah. Go ahead, share. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, wow. Uh, when does this pass? When does this stop? Just a couple more minutes, like 10 minutes. Uh, <laughs> uh, Not forever. Uh, <laughs> Quick, Colin, we need milk. Uh, Wow. Oh, that's still... No way. Uh, that is. <laughs> I think you're trying to convince your dad yeah. to like two or three rings. Like, you want to drink some milk? I mean, it's... Yeah, I feel... My lips are tingling. Uh, that last one, now I feel... Oh my goodness. Did it just go like down? My lips are tingling. Yeah. Uh, it took a few minutes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. This is clean. Uh, but be careful with your eyes. Make sure you uh, don't touch anything. <laughs> Drink uh, milk. Uh, <laughs> I think my eyes are swelling up. <laughs> you think your eyes are swelling? I'm serious. I think my I think my they're swelling. Maybe they are. Do they feel spicy? No, but okay. my, my eyelids, I can feel they're puffing up. <laughs> my nose, my nose <laughs> is beginning to, it, it's going up to my nose. Oh my goodness. That last one. Oh, I told you. <laughs> Just keep drinking milk. I will not disagree. 